Welcome to the Tank Stream Hotel. This is a queen size room. This is room 1206. And uh, it's okay. It's clean and relatively comfortable. You've got this, you've got these two lights here, but I want to maybe point out first is this ceiling lighting. I've never really had a room like this before. I apologize, I only have a uh, iPhone 8, but uh, I think that's kind of cool. And uh, the lighting here is all controlled on either side of the bed. You've got the reading light, you can see that. And uh, wristwatch check, Rolex 114060. You've got auxiliary lights and the main light. And if you notice here, these side lights only control each side, except they also control the, the main lighting, the main room. I guess I overhead uh, ceiling lighting, which is so cool. Now, uh, that's mainly the room. I mean, it's, it's, really, it's really small, but it's clean and, and, and comfortable. Uh, and this uh, sort of baseboard is, is in the wall behind the bed is really kind of interesting it's subtle but kind of cool and uh, this is a room facing the Radisson blue uh, and then you can see all the way here no you can't see the the harbor area because of that building there um, but this is a, um, a hotel with a very good location you're just a few blocks ish three or so from getting to the circular key and the, seeing the bridge so um, I see the Australian flag from here. Uh, it's not a not a bad location if if you want to get out and walk around and uh, do stuff. This is a great location, and that's why I stayed at this hotel. Uh, the room is small. It's clean. It's comfortable, uh, and uh, the staff has been friendly so far. Hopefully, I don't wear out my welcome. And here is the. Uh, a coffee machine, I don't know if it works. I haven't tried it. The cooler, they make good on the promise as far as all this stuff I think is included. It's all here when I got here. And uh, the, um, the closet space is, is okay. Uh, I could probably put my big suitcase in here, but I just didn't want to. And you do get a, an ironing board and iron, so that's, um, that's pretty nice. I mean, some hotels don't, don't include that. So, or you have to ask for it, but uh, it's included with the room. It's great, it's convenient. And um, you get a, um, a full length mirror here. If you were 10 feet tall, you would still have a full length mirror. So that's, that's pretty nice. It makes the room look slightly larger. And here is the bathroom. You can see another full length mirror and uh, Got these yellow tiles, which I think are so cool, and uh, they really design the um, the bathroom well. I think. Uh, I'm sure you don't want to see me, so I'll try to stay out of the picture. This shower is great because look, you, you don't have to step over a bathtub; you just uh, walk right in. So that was convenient this morning. Uh, the toilet works uh, pretty well. And uh, it comes with some other features. I remember these sips. You've got uh, shampoo, you've got uh, uh, conditioner, body wash, everything you need. There's a bar of soap as well. And uh, I guess it doesn't take long to show you a room with the tank stream. These are all very small, compact rooms. Uh, and uh, here's a television back up so you can see that. The, the television has uh, about 35 channels. It's, you know, it's okay. Um, there's a jazz station. That's what we're listening to right now. I, I kind of like that. And um, here's the menu. Okay, this is for the, uh, the attached restaurant here. And uh, the room service is available till 9.30. Pretty limited menu, but... Uh, at least uh, there's something available. And uh, 
you know, I'll say that I went to the uh, the breakfast and it was pretty decent. They offered that for $25. I was able to add it uh, when I booked the room for $20 a day and that's a good deal. They, they make eggs to order and um, they've got you know, some other things, fruits and um, they had uh, some Asian inspired food, koji. I never had that before, I've never even seen it really. Uh, but it's uh, kind of like a rice soup and then you can put different things in it. So I tried that and I, I enjoyed it. So, um, so that was good. And, and then I uh, had a latte with the, uh, with the breakfast. Um, it's, um, it's not a bad deal. My, my lunches have been uh, 40 to $50 a day. So, um, you know, $20 for breakfast is a good deal and you don't have to leave the hotel. So it's a great way to get started. Um, Tank Stream Hotel, it's, um, it's clean, it's comfortable, it's a great location, but it's not luxurious, so if you need that, you're maybe not gonna be happy, I don't know. Um, one, one criticism I would make is there aren't very many towels. There's, there's enough for me, I'm one person, but, you know, I probably should add some more. Uh, I mean, you're not taking them home with you, you're, they'll just clean them and, and reuse them so why not throw in a couple extras and um, that's uh, you know that's just kind of unfortunate um, but uh, the hotel staff has been good they allowed me to do an early check-in no problem got here at uh, about 9 30 in the morning and uh, they got me right into the room so so it was great and uh, again this is just a, a, a good a good hotel and a great location. Not luxurious at all, but, but again, it, it's, it's fairly comfortable and, um, you know, there is a limited room service and uh, I guess that's what you can say for the tank stream. Thanks, this is Manning 8. Oh, one other, one other item I should mention. If you, um, if you want to meet someone here at the hotel, a friend perhaps uh, your friend will need a room card to get up to the room the the hotel elevator won't work without the room card so um, keep that in mind I suppose you could meet someone in the uh, ho hotel uh, restaurant and uh, sort of avoid the uh, the lobby if that's important to you okay Manning 8 thanks